Welcome back. We're going to do um, an art piece based on an artist named James Rizzi, who was known as a uh, pop artist. A pop artist is somebody who kind of creates usually bright <clears throat> and colorful pictures and artwork, but a lot of it's based on um, things that are popular at the time. So what things look like, what people do, um, what kind of items people would use, so popular things. Okay, so it kind of recreates what it looks like and what what that time period was like. And Rizzi did this in like the 19, no, let's see, <clears throat> mostly in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. And he lived in New York City, so a lot of his artwork was based on the city with lots of buildings and lots of people to kind of recreate what his own version of New York City would look like. He made it real lively and fun made a lot of things with the buildings, like turning his buildings into characters. It was pretty cool. So here's a sample of kind of a James Rizzi style um, art piece there. <clears throat> okay, we're going to do something similar for ours. Let me show you a couple other samples real quick. And then we can get started on doing our own version of this. So here's another sample. There's a sample of what I just showed you basically, but <clears throat> James Rizzi's painting in color. And that shows you what he would do, creating the city, lots of buildings. It looks alive. You made all the buildings into their own kind of characters, showing different expressions. Um, I like how he did the day and night. Half is the daytime and the other half is nighttime, which you could do if you like. So you might try something like that in yours. But just the way he made each building like their own fun character. Here's another sample. This is one where um, he was really famous for making his artwork look 3D because... Not because of the way he made it look 3D by drawing it 3D, but these objects were actually cutouts that might have a piece of foam or cardboard behind them. So they were actually lifted off the paper. Like this cloud here is not just a little drawing of a cloud. It's actually a cutout with a piece behind it. So it's raised up off the background. So it looks a little more 3D. I don't know if you can see that very well on the screen, but with Rizzi's art, he did that. The birds the sun, okay, this UFO, the little stars in the sky, all these things are actually cutouts that were stuck onto the page. This cat here was a cutout stuck onto the page. But when he did that, he lifted them up off the paper by putting something behind them so they were a little bit raised up off the paper. So it's kind of a cool thing that he did in his artwork. He did that in a lot of art. But there's a scene that represents kind of like his New York City. Well, apple, the big apple. So he might have apples in the picture. <clears throat> But this was his idea of what it looked like in New York City, and that's where he was from. So he tried to recreate that in his art. Now, things have changed, obviously. You wouldn't see people walking around with radios like that anymore. But that's why it's considered pop art. It kind of recreates what things look like at that time. So let's go ahead and switch over to what we're going to do with this and how to get started. So I'll post a few examples to help you get started when we do this um, in Google Classroom so you have a few examples to help get you going. But the main thing is how to start off drawing your buildings. Okay, so we'll do a couple layers like buildings up close and then another layer of buildings in the background. And then I have another sheet that might give you some ideas of things you can use, okay, like what can I do for my eyes, nose, mouth to create characters how can I do the windows? Some different background ideas that you might see in a James Rizzi um, piece, like the UFOs, airplanes, hot air balloons floating around the sky were common. Other symbols you might see like apples, hearts, birds, sometimes some cars in the picture because it's a big city with a lot of cars driving around. These are all things you might see in his artwork. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the buildings. So what I like to do is draw the main outline, let me adjust my camera a little bit to get started. So I'm going to start at the on the side of my paper and draw one row of buildings. So I'm going to go over and down, and there's one building, okay? And I can make each one a little different, maybe. Maybe this one's a little lower, so you can adjust how low the building is. Maybe this one is angled on the top, so it's a little different. Okay, and this one I'm going to do something like that. 
There we go. There's a row of buildings. And then maybe if you're going to draw something on top of the building, do that next. I'll draw a little triangle, kind of like a rooftop. Maybe there's a really long point on the top of that building. Um, there we go. Maybe this building has a little shape here. <clears throat> maybe this building has a curved top on it. So if you have any ideas for things to put on the top of buildings, add those in. And then the next row of buildings will start right along here. So we'll do one more row going across. So this building, I'm going to make it just a little different. So they don't all have to be the same. Try different things. Try to make the buildings a little different as you go. Okay, and I'm going to continue and work across until I don't have any more space for buildings. And maybe I'll draw another one here. Okay, there we go. Now I can add something to the tops of these buildings too if I like. Okay, he even made his buildings look like they had, like they were people. They're kind of like their own thing. Maybe this one has some spikes on top, like that's its hair later on. So have fun with it and come up with your outline. Once you have the outline, you can use the other handout or you can make up your own to come up with ideas for how to make a face. Maybe I use the windows for that. Okay, so I could make windows as eyes and then add some sort of a mouth to that. Add a nose and I have a character there. Okay, they can have different expressions. They can look happy, sad, angry, whatever you want. You could do all sorts of stuff with these characters. You can make them silly and goofy. You might see that in his artwork where he made the characters look kind of silly. Here's one that I like when they give him some big funny teeth. So have fun with your drawing and come up with different things. What do you want yours to look like? <clears throat> Maybe some more windows to add details to it when you're done, but kind of continue across and figure out what you want your characters to look like. So I'm just going to keep going for a little bit and add a few more things. There's the face. There we go. So different characters for each. Some could have windows filling in most of the space with a character in there. So maybe I start one and just start with some windows. Maybe a few buildings only have windows and there is no character. But in most of his, he would create different characters throughout the picture. Okay, and then maybe I turn this into a character with eyes here and some sort of a window there okay maybe this one's got some angry eyebrows so it's fun to play with and create your own as you go so continue that until you filled in every building with windows and details to make it look like a building with its own kind of expression it's your own creation what do you want each building to be they're all going to be unique of their own character basically so create your own characters later on I could add some fun things like some little birds on top of buildings, some of the extras. I have some of these ideas on the handout if you want to give it a try. Okay, so I can add some fun little birds onto my buildings. I can add some planes in the sky if I want. I could add some clouds. You see a lot of clouds in the background. Sometimes you even see hot air balloons floating around in the sky in his art. So maybe I do a hot air balloon in here. A little balloon shape for the top. Put a little design on it. Apples you would see sometimes in his artwork too because New York City is considered the big apple. So maybe you draw some apples on the buildings here and there or as part of your design. So I could draw an apple in here. Maybe this building's covered with the design of apples. 
So this is what you would see in a James Rizzi style city. And it would be really bright and colorful when he was all done. So you can make it as colorful as you want. So continue through it. Fill in your page, add your characters, create your own characters as you go. You can use these handouts that I'll post for ideas. If there's something on here you like that you want to use, you can add them in as you go. So I didn't put a sun in here yet, but maybe I have the sun in the picture. That could have a face too. Okay, and just keep going until the whole thing is done if you've created your own interesting kind of crazy landscape there. Um, so I want to uh, check out your artwork, so I look forward to seeing what you, uh, what you do and what you come up with.